Hi everyone. I haven't been able to get out bush for a day for uh, quite some time now. Work and other obligations. So now to celebrate coming out today, I'm going to cook myself up something special. I'm doing flaming yong stuffed with pizza topping. Now some of you are probably going to get a laugh out of this. I went through the effort of prepping up my tinder really nice to try and do a one spark fire with just the little last three quarters of an inch on the ferro rod. And well, I got it, but I forgot to turn the camera on to record it. So it didn't happen on camera, so it doesn't count. What I want to do is get a bit of a better coals going. Because I want to be able to lightly char my bacon and my steak before I roll them up into a flaming young roll with the pizza topping and everything inside. So, yeah. I'm just going to have a small fire, plenty of wood on it, let it burn down to charcoal and embers. Now, I got myself a nice porterhouse steak. The problem is it's a little bit small. But it's pretty thick and well I've got my weir you know that aboriginal digging bowl thing I made a while back I did mean to bring my outback today which has that pommel that I could use to you know just beat my meat but you know just tenderizing it flattening it out but yeah, I did bring the new modified paratrooper, but I'm sending that overseas, so I don't want to get the handle covered in meat juice. I'll just have to make sure to clean this when I get home. And this digging bowl thing, but before I used it today as a, you know, as a chopping board, I made sure that I cleared off all of the bark. You know, just so I don't get any bark borne pathogens. But at the same time, this is going straight onto an open flame. Well, it's going straight onto burning hot coals. So, to be, in all honesty, I'm not too concerned about any kind of pathogens. Because it's going to be going straight onto a, a bit of coals and, well. What the hell? I don't care if it goes on bark. Or, you know, I'm just taking in this nice porterhouse steak and I'm just beating it, flatten it out, you know. Make it a bit more tender but also make it a larger area so I can stuff more stuff into it to when I wrap it up. Now all of these steps you could easily do ahead of time and just bring this flaming yong out with you. Have it you could even have it pre-made and frozen and then take it out when you get to wherever you're going, you know. Just if you want to impress your mates or just make them jealous because they only brought a can of spam or you know a pasta pack or I don't know. Just if you want to show off you could possibly do this ahead of time. And that's pretty flat and now my opnol is nice and meaty. So yeah this lovely little porterhouse I've flattened out is going on those coals just for a little bit just to singe the outside just to infuse a bit of that smoky charcoal flavour into it because while we are cooking it in the coals later just a bit more of that char grill flavour would be worth it because well char grilled is delicious just throw the grill on just for a little bit of extra protection we'll just Lap it on there for a little bit. We're not going to cook it like this. We're just going to leave it there for a little while. Just, you know, get some of that charcoaly goodness into it. You know, just to improve the flavour. A little bit. See, now that's starting to cook. It... Now, if you wanted to, you could season this with a bit of nice salt and pepper or any other kind of steak seasoning you wanted. But I'm just doing it as is but a little bit of salt sprinkled on this before 
and would definitely improve the flavor. But, like a dummy, I forgot it. It is super rare on the inside. But it's got a little bit of, you know, a little bit cooked on the outside. So now, we'll put this aside and we will do the same with the bacon. Got more bacon, I'm just, you know, limited to the amount of size I have on this thing. Not gonna cook it like this, just gonna, you know, try and fuse a bit of that charcoaly goodness into it. But come to think of it, why aren't I just throwing this straight onto the coals? <laughs> that would be the, that would maximize the flavor. In fact, yes, I will do that. Not even too sure why I brought a grill today. I don't need it, but you know, just in case I had really dirty burning wood. But this stuff's burning pretty clean. We'll have some bacon down in there. Charcoal bacon. And I reckon that's enough charcoal flavor for this stage. All right, so now I've got my meat. It's cooled down sadly, but I've got my toppings here. Honestly, I only feel like using three today got myself some pizza sauce I definitely do not need this much but you know that, they didn't sell it in a smaller packet although to be honest I could have just bought a large container and put some in a smaller container but you know I just bought this after I had already left the house didn't feel like going back but you know uh, I'll find a use for this somewhere else Alright, that up, that is looking beautiful. Right. Oh, that pizza topping absolutely smells delicious. Hell, I'll throw a little on, it smells so damn good. Now, I've got some pickled jalapenos, fresh jalapenos, and mozzarella. Gotta have your mozzarella. I mean, we're doing pizza stuffing. Well, pizza topping, we're just using it as a stuffing. But, you know, sprinkle you on. This is a beautiful mozzarella. And of course jalapenos, because I absolutely love my jalapenos. I love spicy food. Oh, I can't get enough of the stuff. It's delicious. Just gotta make sure you wash your hands really well before you go to the bathroom. Otherwise, things could get interesting. Now, for those of you who do not actually know what filet mignon is, it's basically your filet of steak wrapped in bacon. Awesome! And we're doing it out in the bush, which makes it even better. We've got nice charcoal, well, to be honest, I could have cooked steak in the charcoals to, you know, improve the flavor a bit more, but we've got nice, ch we've got, we're going to have a nice char-grilled steak with char wrapped in char-grilled bacon, stuffed with pizza topping. Yum! Now, kind of a big problem I had today. I forgot to bring the skewers. However, I still have some of these fishing tie thingies. So, I'm going to try and bind this up with the wire for a fishing leader. I improvised. Ideally, I would have brought skewers or even made them. I could have made skewers, but I would have had to have left this fire unattended which is you know just not something I want to do. Alright just gonna let that die down a little and then put it back on because well we want charcoal not flame for this. Because we just want to cook it a little bit slower so that we don't burn the bacon before the meat's done. We don't want to have charcoal bacon and half cooked meat now do we? Now, we're cooking outdoors, there's too many variables to really give exact time specifications. You just gotta 
basically wing it when you're cooking out the side like this. You know, you get a you get a feel for it after you've done it enough times. Now give it one more turn. I'm fighting with it, trying to get it to not fall apart on me. In fact, I really should have brought paper plates with me as well, or at least my mess kit. But instead, I just ended up bringing just the grate today. Well, the grill. Can use um, cooking twine for this, as well as just skewers ran through it to hold the bacon on. <laughs> you know. But, accidentally, I forgot them today. Oh well. It's still going to taste delicious. The hard part about this is actually just using a low heat. Because you want the bacon cooks so much faster than the steak on the inside. So you've got the thing that cooks quick, closer to the heat, than the thing that takes longer to cook. So one of the benefits of flattening it out first, you reduce the cook time, but again... You've still got to get, can, you've still got to conduct the heat through the bacon to cook it. And normally this is a lot easier done in an oven than over open flame like this, but it's still doable. I've just got to, you know, pace myself. Just wait for it to die down to coals before I put it all on. You know, which can be a bit hard for me, I get a little impatient. But now that it's just on coals, just let it cook slowly. That's the important bit. That and remembering the skewers and stuff so it doesn't all fall apart. Oh, looky here, we've got a piece of bacon that's fallen off. Oh well, I guess I'll, I know, I'll just wrap you back around. But we just want to cook it nice and slow on hot coals. I got way ahead of myself trying to do it on flame. That's just nonsense. Silly, ugh, silly no BS survival. Should know by now. I do so much cooking outdoors. I should know by now to pace myself, not try and rush it. Smoky, charcoaly, bacony goodness. Could have done with a sprinkling of salt. Oh, it's good. But overall, it's pretty good. Even the charcoal bits. But sometimes it's nice to have a bit of crunchy, crispy bacon. I've got a bit of bacon here. Uh, I'm going to need to sharpen this up afterwards. Coming in contact with way too much metal today. Oh well. These hot mills sharpen pretty good. Especially with that blade geometry. Got my pizza topping. Well, not really. Got a little bit of mozzarella in there. A bit of pizza sauce. A bit of steak and lots and lots of charcoal bacon. And the flies seem to approve of it. They're buzzing around me like nuts. But, you know, at least there's no mosquitoes. I mean, they were, but, you know, I got myself a nice little fire. Even though I'm doing stealth fire. It seems to have kept them away pretty nicely. Especially when you consider I'm sitting in the middle of a mangrove and I'm not getting bitten by mosquitoes. Hmm. Probably should not use a porterhouse steak for this in the future. Yeah, you know, just for flavour wise, it's probably not the best for this. Got that little bit that's covered in melted mozzarella and pizza topping. Not bad. Looks absolutely delicious. But I think I kind of let myself down with the choice of porterhouse steak. Ooh. Char grilled bacon covered in melted mozzarella. Tiniest little hint of a bit of jalapeno juice on there too.
Oh well. Alright guys. See yous.